Time's up. Professor Porter will post your test scores and final grades by next Friday. I won't have any access to them before then, so do not pester me. Have a nice summer, Aki. Uh, okay, thanks. You too. <laughs> Hey, Ike. What's up, man? Hello, Chunk. What brings you out of bounds? Huh? What can I do for you? Oh. Well, I've got a little problem, and uh, I was hoping maybe you could help me out. What's the emergency this time? English, math, weightlifting? <laughs> Good one. No, it's Greek mythology. How little naked though. It's, it's got me good. You mean Cupid? Yeah, he's the one. Cupid is Roman mythology. <laughs> yeah, he sure gets around. Hey, listen, Ike, you know Rosie Riddle? I think uh, you had a lit class with her last semester? Yeah, I do seem to recall a girl by that name. Well, me and Rosie are going to elope tonight. That is... Jill, quit the game plan before I get there. I wasn't aware you and Rosie were so well acquainted. Yeah, for the past couple weeks we've been laying plans, but the trouble is, she keeps switching sides. One minute she says she will, the next minute she says she won't. You said you needed my help? Yeah, her old man don't like me too much. And Every time I go to pick her up, he's in the front room polishing his shotgun. I don't see what I can do about that. Uh, well, we've agreed on tonight, and Rose is stuck with the plan for two whole days. But it's five hours yet, and I'm afraid she's going to flake out on me. You will excuse me, Chunk. I have one last class tomorrow to prepare for. Hey, Ike, you remember that mythology class? Didn't we learn about a kind of potion, like a, a hypochondriac or something? Aphrodisiac? Yeah, we learned about her too, but hey listen, ain't there some kind of potion that'll make a person like you better? I mean, I've been thinking, if I could get one of them potions that would work, just for a couple hours, maybe I could give it to Rosie tonight and she'd stick with the game plan. Hmm. When is this foolishness of running away to be happening? Well, dinner with her folks is at seven. At 8, Rosie goes to bed with a headache. At 9, she sneaks out of her window. We're clear for the shot. It'll be a piece of cake if Rosie don't freeze at the foul line. So, Ike, you think you can make one of them potions for me? I think I know just the thing. Normally, of course, I would claim not even to know of such a potion. Oh, but you, Junk, are such a good friend that for you, I shall make it. Thanks, Ike. You're a real pal. To you alone would I entrust a powder such as this, and you must not tell anyone that I gave it to you. Slip this into a drink, and I'm sure it will do the trick. What's in it? Oh, just a few things you wouldn't remember and can't pronounce anyway. Huh. Okay. Hey, thanks, Ike. Of course. In your language, Chunkle Pal, it's known as a Mickey. Hello, is this Mr. Riddle? This is a friend of Rosie's. No, just a friend. Mr. Riddle, there's something going on tonight that you should know about. Time's up. Professor Porter will post your test scores by next Friday. You have reached the riddles. Mikey, we did it. We pulled it off. Rosie was right on the whistle. She even cooked me eggs this morning. Life is so weak. Anyway, we're taking off for a couple weeks, and I just want to say thanks, man. What about the potion? Oh, well, last night at dinner, 
I looked at Rosie and I said to myself, Chunk, you've got to win that girl fair and square. No hocus pocus. What about her father? Oh, well, I looked at him and I thought, it wouldn't hurt for him to like me better, so I just slipped the potion in his drink. Thanks again, man.